All right, so this is the Cobra 3 combo. So the box it comes in is not too large, decent size, and there's not much information on it. Not even the size. We do have some handles here, which is nice. And the shipping label says 39 pounds. So let's go ahead and open it up. And this is how it's packed. So we've got a bag. So it's possible you could probably just pull on this bag and get it out. I'm just gonna flip it over and dump it out. And as you guys can see, very well packed. Lots of foam. So we do have layers. That's our top one. So we can kind of see the printer here. Maybe it needs to go like this. Another section, quite a few parts and pieces. A user manual also, very nicely packed. And also we have the print head. So here we can kind of see the printer poking up. And right in front of here we, is, we have the combo box. Okay, so this is a separate piece that kind of slides out. Let's go ahead and pull this foam out. And this is what it looks like. It's like an enclosed, We've got some rubber feet, very nicely constructed. And the slid does open, looks like we have a lock and unlock. Well, that's pretty exciting and definitely feels like a really well built box here. All right, so now we can really see the printer. Again, encased in all this foam, so very well protected. And we can go ahead and grab it on the top and kind of pull it up. And that makes it everything. And as you probably guys can see, it is pre-built. We just have to connect a few things and set it all up. All right, so first things first, let's check out what's in the manual here. We can see a picture of what it all looks connected. We've got some barcodes here, what everything is and what it's called. All the different parts and connections to the Ace Pro. Everything that's included, which also has the technical specifications below that. And then we have step one, which for step one, we're gonna be connecting, looks like the cable to the hot end and then installing the hot end assembly onto the cradle which it rolls on which there are four m36 bolts and so let's look real quick through all this so we got the main hot end assembly so this is going to be the multi port injection here on top there's a release arm here you can kind of see a motor here the heat break the heat block with the tip it is silicone insulated we got fan shrouds blowing on each side there's also an led light here's some venting here you kind of see electronics in there and another lever here it also looks like maybe the cutter or something but yeah very nicely designed and the front fascia here is blacked out and looks really good so here we have a bracket looks like a clean out of some sort a mechanism which is pretty cool looking we get a little baggie of accessories we got some test filament in there comes with the ptf tubing we got the usb thumb drive there some accessories bolts adapters needles home brush allen wrenches so uh, yeah our spool holder looks like it's in two pieces so this is going to be a, for the single setup which goes together just like that. A couple power cables, one for the machine and the other for the multi-printing box. We also get this interconnecting cable between the printer and the box. And the last piece here is we have the screen and it's got a pretty beefy bracket here that looks like it's adjustable. Okay, yeah, so it does move up and down and it's got a nice weight to it. All right, hopefully you guys can see, but if we go to the side here, you can see we got some orange cables and these are output cables to the nozzle, which is like a USB type C. So let's cut those loose. That the one that goes to the nozzle is quite a bit longer and also there's like a little special place where it kind of slots in. So, so according to the manual, we just plug this into there. And just like that, it does appear that you can put a couple little bolts in there, which the manual does show. They're M2 by 14 and they're gonna be in this bag with all of our hardware. So here it actually says number one, I guess for step one, or print head cable. Grab the correct wrench, which is the smallest one. And we're simply just gonna put the bolt in the hole and then screw it in. So you don't wanna make this tight at all. Just get to the end and barely snug it and that should be good enough. All right, that looks good. So for the next part, we're gonna install it here on the cradle. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the belt in the back and spin it so we can lower it a bit. So naturally, the next step is number two for the print head. And so we're gonna connect this to the cradle. So our little bolt will go through the back and then we're gonna grab this and make sure your cable is pretty happy. We're gonna line it up and then start the bolt in the back. Let's flip this around so maybe you guys can see a little better. You can kind of see where these white circles are. That's where the bolts go and there's four of them. Two on the lower part and then two on the upper part. So it looks like the upper part, you can actually pre-install them and then it kind of slides down into here. But yeah. Pretty straightforward here so far with putting this thing together. And these you want to snug up pretty well as our print head is going to be traveling at quick speeds. All right, well that should be good. So for the next part, it wants us to install the screen, which is down here. Let's go ahead and untape this. 
and we can see the two mounting threads are screened. These are the two holes that will line up with these, like this. And the number three pouch is the one that's going to say for touchscreen. So yeah, again, they made it very simple and easy to assemble this thing. And these bolts are kind of long, so it will take a little bit here to run them down. So now we can snug them up. And that's good right there. So now we can go ahead and plug in the ribbon cable, which goes back here. And so it looks like it's gonna bend this way, yeah. So with the leads exposed going down like that. So be careful with this as it is a ribbon cable. Make sure you line it up and then just kind of push on both ends and it should snap in there. And this is what the ribbon cable looks like. It kind of curves. So yeah, and that's our screen. What's cool about it, it's actually functional. So if we go back to the other side, we see this other cable and plugs in under here, which there's a plug. Hopefully you guys can see right there. So this literally just plugs in right in there. Yeah, this longer one goes to the head and then this one goes here to the side. So for step five, we're gonna be installing a cable holder, which goes on the side. And it's this little guy here, here on the back, we can see this is where it's gonna slot. Yeah, it looks like it holds our tubings and also our cable here on the side. So right here, if we see there's a slot, this literally just slides down like that and then this cable here with the marked indentions clicks right in there and just like that and now cables kind of out of the way so for step six we're going to be installing the purge wiper and that's this thing here and that's gonna go on this side right here you guys could maybe see a little white circle this is actually where this piece right here lines up there's a little hole here for the pin to go in it literally goes in just like that and there's two bolts one goes through here and then one goes on the bottom and that's going to be the bag four we can see the longer screw and the shorter bolt so the shorter bolt goes through the back which there's threads and the longer screw goes from the bottom up and i recommend putting the bottom one in first so it kind of tightens it up and then we can go ahead and tighten the bolt in the back snug it up and we are good and here on the other side we can kind of see how the mechanism works so when we go over there's a magnet that magnetizes and then pulls on this that releases. So for next part, we're gonna install the tubing, which if you're doing single printing, that's what you'll install. And then also the spool holder that goes on the back corner there on the left side. So let's grab this included tubing. And that'll go right here. So there's a blue clip that we need to pull out first. And then we're gonna put the PTF in there, the tubing, then raise the little coupler and slide the blue clip underneath there. So it kind of holds it all together and this keeps the tubing from popping off. And so on our hot end, we can choose any of these four as they should all split into one and it doesn't really matter which one you plug it into. So I'm just gonna plug it here into the front right. Again, you wanna hold this up while pushing it in. That way it locks in. And to take it out, it's the same way. You push the little black ring coupler down and then you can pull it out. So quite simple, but when you put it in first time, you need to kind of put pressure down and then pull up the black little coupler. So that just helps it lock it, so. And we can also use these little rings that are included to manage our cables. So they just simply click into the wire and then into the tubing and kind of keep it all together and organized looking. So yeah, so far, so good. And all we gotta do is slide on our spool holder. Well, I guess I did install this wrong. It goes this way, right here on the back. And just like that so our filament will go on the spool and then roll out underneath here through the holder that we installed through the tube into the hot end 